Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas, and it is a very, very warm 90 plus degrees out in the sun here in Central Florida. It is February 4th, 2011. I know a lot of you wished you had 90 degree weather right now. In December, towards the end of December, that was the last time that it was actually cold here. We've had almost 40 days of very warm weather. In December, I did a forced air heater video follow up to the sewer pipe that I never uploaded using these two cargo containers. I didn't upload the video because there was a lot of issues with it. I wasn't real happy with the way it came out, but I was going to redo it. Unfortunately, or fortunately for us, we have had unseasonably warm weather and I haven't had a chance to redo the video. It doesn't make sense to do a forced air heater video when it's 90 plus degrees outside. So for those of you out there, it's nice and warm here. I'm actually in a full sweat right now, just standing in the sun. The video that I'm about to show you was done in December, and it wasn't extremely cold then either. I'm your host Dan Rojas and I am on top of our cargo containers that face back into our swamp slash backyard. It's about three acres of woodsy area. I'm going to be doing a forced air heater test with two of the cargo containers. It's currently a beautiful 55.56, whatever, 56 degrees out right now. And we're going to be doing a test. Both cargo containers were had about the same insulation they're the same they have no insulation they're just steel and they have a coat of paint on them I painted them this color so the Sun doesn't get everything inside really hot the winter time I guess that would be good but in the summertime when these are painted dark brown they got up to about 160 degrees inside which is really bad for some of the stuff I store in there so this is the temperature inside cargo container number one which is still the original color that it was And it is 55 degrees in here. There's a big difference too between cargo container number one and number two. The one with the forced air heater in it is has the sun block, so the whole side's not going to be exposed to the sun. This one over here has this. Now, if this whole side were black, that forced air heater wouldn't stand a chance in this test. We're going inside number two right now. This has been running for about five minutes. You're going to notice inside a cargo container number two it's like a whitish so you can tell the difference the dark one no forced air heater the light one forced air heater and there is about a degree difference in temperature so i have the exhaust running all the way back here by the way you're going to notice that this is a lot quieter um, that's because the fans on the roof so the high volume fans up there right now when the sun gets up it's going to pick up power a little bit because it's not at the optimal angle to the solar panel we're going to let this run for a little bit this is our insulation right here i didn't want to cut four inch holes in this so the insulation rating on this would be considered very poor it's cool down here this is my secret, um, uh, uh, what, secret alleyway. And hang out here and mug people. So I'm going to wait an hour for that, and we're going to get readings from the two different cargo containers. One of the things I want to talk to you about is air volume. A lot of people in the previous video posted comments that you need to slow the air volume down to get the temperature up. That's true, but this is not designed to be a super furnace we're not trying to get a little tiny airspace extremely hot we're trying to get a very large airspace like your house which has several thousand cubic feet of space in it even if it's a very small house we're trying to get it warmer so by running less air volume through it all that you do is you allow the heat to build on the roof now if the heat builds on the roof in those collectors even if you insulate it with clear plastic and all that you're gonna be leaching a lot of heat out into the atmosphere. But for solar, the sun's the sun. It's putting a set amount of power on there. Doesn't matter how much air you run through it, 
the power is the same. It's not going to be less power. All the air running through it at a higher volume does is it pulls more heat off, cooling the temperature of your forced air heater on the roof. This is good because that heat is then released into your house. So it is much better to have a forced air heater with a pretty good volume that you can barely feel a temperature difference. You can maybe three or four degree difference from the air going in and coming out than it is to have a lower volume, very warm air coming out. If that makes sense to you. One becomes a little tiny space heater that's very inefficient. The other becomes a full house heater. Also, that fan is 27 watts. It is only 27 watts, so there's no heat produced by it, very little heat. N not even a degree difference you're gonna notice. So the fan has absolutely nothing to do with the heating factor. inside of cargo container number one and it is 69.3 degrees in here it's 60 degrees outside so that's a nine degree increase without the forced air heater which is pretty impressive but the reason that that is is this test is actually rigged by rigged I don't mean it's rigged in our favor actually here is the wall that's facing the Sun so we have this giant passive wall of heat here. Now your house isn't going to be able to do this because you're not going to have a wall that faces the sun with no insulation. This is just pure direct heat. This is nice and warm if you compare it to the other side. That's closer to what it is in here. So this is the non-sun side and this is the side that's getting sunlight. So we're going to go to the cargo container that has the forced air heater. If you look, that's the sunlight that this one's getting. One side, this one's blocked in shade. And the other side is totally shaded too. So we're going to get a reading in here. We're 69 degrees and one. First, we're going to do the wall temperature. This is, so you can see our wall temperature is 70 degrees. This shaded side, so we're losing heat there. This is leaching heat out of here. And back in here, we are 74.7 degrees. So we are six degrees warmer with the forced air heater and the absence of the wall heat over here so we're actually losing heat because this has terrible insulation and this wall is actually cool eighty two point nine degrees or right at eighty three degrees so the air coming in and so now it's increasing the temperature of the airflow by about ten degrees and it has warmed this one up a full 15 degrees from the outside temperature. Hey, boo-boo. What's up? What's up? Say hi. Say hi. One of the things I'm gonna be doing with this upper deck of the cargo containers is putting solar panels up there because we have a clear shot at the sun all year round. Because I like the naturistic background there's trails that go back in there. It's a beautiful, beautiful scenery to just sit up here and look. Cargo containers are pretty sturdy on the roof. They're steel, but it's not made to really walk on, so you wouldn't want more than one person up here or two people up here at one time unless you build added supports for it. When they sit on top of each other, you see them stacked five high on the cargo ships. They sit on the steel corners, so they don't really rest on the roof parts. Anyways, I'm going to be building a solar research center up here, or as Denise likes to call it, my future fort. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.